This quirky baseball strategy is dying right before our eyes. The MLB has made it very clear that they want to increase offensive production. They added the DH and the NL, implemented a pitch clock, took away the shift, and even made the bases bigger. Now I'm in favor of all of it, and players have figured out a way of their own. Switch hitting used to be a badge of pride. Legends like Mickey Mantle, Pete Rose, and Chipper Jones hit switch. But they actually peaked back in 1989. Back then, they made up 25% of the league's batters. Fast forward to the present, and it's less than 10%. Contrary to what fans once believed, there's not much advantage to switch hitting. Players have realized it's hard enough to perfect one swing, so why spread yourself thin and go for two? While it is nice to see the ball spin from the opposite side of the dish, it doesn't mean anything if you're not going to make contact. Cedric Mullins is perhaps the best recent example. He hit switch for the first three years of his career, but was flailing with a 200 batting average. The following season, he converted to strictly batting left, where he hit 291 and received his first all-star nod. 